Hello and welcome to the Harpy Bugs Forms 3 Minute Slayer Guide. If you like this format, please like and comment. Uh, that way this video will rank higher on YouTube and help more people save time on their Slayer tasks. So let's get started. If uh, A quick note, if you're lower than say 40 defense, you should consider doing the Taibo Wanai Trio quest. That way you can utilize the tribal statue 30 seconds away to recharge your prayer and just use protect from melee. Uh, that is a very viable option because the Harpy Bug Swarm, uh, they do hit quite often and they hit for a decent amount. Even my account at 45 defense with rune armor was getting hit quite often. So in terms of location, they are on Karamja, northeast of Taiwo Wanai. And the easiest way to get there is to use the DKP Fairy Ring Teleport. Alternatively, you could also use a Gnome Glider, though that, that is slightly slower. And with both of these, you'll have to cross the river west and then run north to the beach in order to reach the Slayer monster. For armor that you should wear, uh, the number one most important thing is that you need to be wearing a lit bug lantern. That's how you do damage to them. Other than that, assuming you're attacking with melee, you want your best melee defensive gear and best melee damage boot boosting gear. So things like a berserker ring, uh, Slayer Helm, things like that. You also have the option to range safe spot them, which is totally viable. You could do that. And I'll show you how to do that later in the video. And if that's the case, obviously you want range boosting gear. Moving on to weapon, um, the Harpy Bug Swarms are weak to slash, so use your best slash weapon. So that's usually just a scimitar. And alternatively, of course, you could use a range weapon, but again, don't forget your lit bug lantern. In terms of inventory, if you are attacking with melee and you're under something like 50 defense, use as much food, bring as much food as you can, provided you meet the other requirements I'm about to talk about. Uh, they hit quite often. Uh, even my account at 45 defense, they were hitting quite often. So next, you may want to bring a special weapon, unless you have pretty high strength. Uh, but if you have, you know, something like 60 strength, uh, bringing something like a DDS would be quite helpful. Speed up your kills per hour a little bit. Next you'll want a stamina potion dose. It is a bit of a run to get there. Next you'll want uh, whatever combat potions are re relevant to you. So that could be a combat potion if you're attacking with melee. It could be super strength potions if you're using prayer. It could be range potions if you're using range. And lastly, you'll want alk runes if you have 55 magic or even low alk runes, um, it will save up space and you'll still make money because there will be items that you wouldn't be able to uh, pick up otherwise. So that just means bring fire runes and nature runes. In terms of how to kill them, you could use a cannon, but it is not recommended. They don't drop enough uh, items to make it worthwhile. Um, and again, you could range or mage safe spot as I mentioned earlier. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you like these guides, the best way to show your support is to like and subscribe and comment. So let me know in the comments how I can improve these videos. And uh, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.